Okie dokie. I'm going to take a look at this video from now this. Kamala Harris wants teacher to be, teachers to be paid their worth. While they only work about seven months out of the fucking year, they get every holiday off, they get two weeks off at Christmas, one week off in the middle of the year just for spring break. Uh, at best, they work, they never work weekends. Um, yeah, I think they're paid. Actually, I think they're overpaid. I strongly believe that a society will be judged and should be judged based on how it treats its children. Uh, we treat our children pretty fucking well. We treat them so well that they think they have the right to riot and smash shit just because there's a statue of some guy that fought it on some side of some war that's been dead for a hundred years. One of the best expressions- Look at how soft our children are these days. For Christ's sakes, they like Bill Maher said, their 10 is our two. ...of love a society can make for its children is to invest in their education. We already spend more than just about every other fucking Western country on the planet. We fail because we have this ridiculous, insane notion that every child is special and every child can do whatever they want, when the reality is, no, they cannot. And if we are going to invest in the education of our children, necessarily we must invest in our teachers. Teach uh, teachers are already overpaid for what they do. They're also union most of the time, so even if they suck at their job, you can't fire them. Teachers actually spend more hours of awake time with our children than parents do. Maybe let's change that. Our teachers are people who have decided to do some of the most noble work any professional can take on. Yeah, and they never stop sh crying about it. In fact, they never shut the fuck up about it. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher because I care. No, you don't. That's why you strike every 15 minutes. Which is nurturing and helping to develop and stimulate the minds and the vision of our children. Well, they're doing a pretty shitty job because we keep falling behind in education. Also, teachers don't really have to teach anymore. They just have to read from a government standardized book. Many people who have achieved success, whether they're in front of a spotlight or a camera or not, will agree that their success was a function of many things, but chief among them was teachers who took an interest in them and... They no, they say that to sound virtuous. ...invested a belief in children that they could do and be anything. See, right there, you've set the impossible standard. Kids cannot be anything. That kid right there, I will guarantee you he's probably, it's possible he might, but he's probably not going to be any of the following. An NBA player, an NFL player, an NHL player, an MLB player. Probably not going to be a professional athlete of any kind. He most likely will not be a leading scientist in any field. Most likely, he's going to drive the garbage truck for a living. Nothing wrong with that. But let's be honest. No. The message that every kid can do whatever they want and they can be anything they want is something we tell little children. But right around the time they enter high school, we really need to actually get them to reality. That kid eating the paste is not going to pilot the space shuttle. So it's not enough that they already are some of the most overpaid motherfuckers on the planet and they get to sit on their ass for three months collecting a paycheck? By the way, if you don't believe me, go check. They actually, when the teachers negotiate their pay with the public school, I don't know about private school, so this may not hold for them, but with the public school, they can set it up where they get three months of no pay, but they get higher pay while they're in school, or they get paid 52 weeks out of the year. It's just lower. Here's the thing, though. While they're on summer vacation, a lot of these teachers get part-time jobs. So, they're double dipping. So please don't cry to me about it. 
It is simply about saying that teachers should be recognized for their value to society. Oh my God! Much like wor nurses, they're some of the they're they're people that are put on a pedestal they don't deserve. You teach little bastards what red and green are. You're not fucking saving the goddamn world. And they should be paid for that value. And instead, right now we have a situation where teachers are making over 10% less than similarly situated professionals with college degrees. What, what similar? What similarly situated professionals? That's an oddly vague term. Do these other similarly situated professionals get to take five months off the fucking year? Being a teacher is the greatest part-time job in the history of humanity. The pay gap for teachers as compared to other similar professionals is $13,500 a year. Yeah, and they don't do a full year's worth of work. We've got teachers around our country who are working two jobs, sometimes three. I well, they can. They have an entire three months in which to work a second job while still getting paid on their first one. I spoke with a teacher in South Carolina who was talking about how as her second job, she was bussing tables. She looked up one day and realized there were four other teachers bussing tables in that same restaurant. Well, boo-hoo, don't be a fucking teacher then. Cry me a river. I thought it was all about helping the children. Because none of them <coughs> could survive off of the teacher pay alone. In America, yeah, thanks to uh, you. Uh, whatever. America today, we have in our colleges and universities straight A science students who would love to go and share their passion for science with elementary, middle, or high school students and teach. But they're looking at their student loans, they're looking at how much teachers are paid, and they know they can't make ends meet. So instead of pursuing their passion of teaching a child, that, that science student goes on and works at a pharmaceutical company. And makes $125,000 a year. That would end my passion for teaching the next generation of little bastards. That's a shame. No, it's not. Let's un Also, let's be honest. At this point, anyone could be a fucking teacher. All teachers have to do is read from the standardized test book that all teachers are required to recite to their students. Teachers are not teaching anything anymore because they can't. Because every student has to be standardized. Every student must, must have standardized tests every two weeks. We have grad standards. We have this. We have this common core bullshit. Yeah. Maybe get rid of that. And then <coughs> see if the teachers can do better. Get rid of the unions. And sure, pay the good ones more. But until you get rid of all this standardized bullshit and get rid of the teachers unions, which, by the way, public officials should not be able to unionize anyway. You're never going to get you're never going to fix this problem. And that ends this video.